Alright, so I shot a pretty decent doe this evening. It's a good day at the farm. Uh, that's a grim reaper. Those things are insane. Once I get this thing hung up, I'll show you the exit wound, but the way that the arrow laid on the ground, which I'm sorry for not having my cameras with me. I'm, I'm having a hard adjustment setting these things up and having the time management to get everything up and going and efficiently have it done before it's time that I should be hunting and I've failed epically at it. Um, what I'm getting ready to do is hang it up on my gambrel that I have hanging in the tree over there. Uh, I just uh, processed or semi-processed it. Another deer I got the other night, but so first thing that I'm doing is looking through the joint. There's a musk land right there. Yeah. But what I'm gonna do is just take my boning knife. Decision here, and I'm going to go into the same spot. The thing you want to make sure that you're careful about is not cutting into either tendon uh, because then the deer is just going to fall off of your damn. Deer. And that's that. So now I can back the truck up. And hook it up to my gambrel here. These are very uh, cost efficient. And it takes about three tugs to get a pretty good sized deer up into the air. This thing, I'd probably just be able to pull it right on up. Here's my uh, seven point. <laughs> I stared at this guy coming at me and coming at me and I swore to God he showed me that he was older than what he was. And I took a shot. It was another good shot. But Apparently I need glasses and I made uh, what I thought was a good decision that turned out to be a bad decision. He'll be a good eater and I'll use every single bit of this deer, but um, I would have liked to, liked to have seen him gotten a little bit older. He's got a weird shaped rack and he's got some funny stuff going on anyways, so his genetics might not have been as good as some of the other stuff on the property, but he'll be utilized. I'll eat every single bit of him. But I'm gonna back my truck up and get this deer up on the game. All right, well, my truck's backed up. Let's switch this. Right. Got my truck backed up. so quiet but to hook that gambrel up there goes one hole and then I knocked my light
think the ratio on this one's four to one. I just did move my gambrel up in this tree. buttons on the side of my phone shuts camera off. for a second there. I was it just walk backwards. Alright, so again, thanks for tuning in and watching that. I didn't get home until 11 o'clock that night, and that's why it's so dark. I'm, if I'm fortunate enough to get another harvest this season, I'll make sure that I do a quicker video of that in the daylight so you can see exactly what's going on and my cameras will be set up on the tripods all that good stuff so thanks for watching beaver hunting